Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to explain how to upgrade your Microsoft Entra Connect, what used to be called DirSync way back in the day, and what used to be called Microsoft Azure AD Connect just a year or so ago. We're going to explain how to upgrade that. The first up, take a snapshot or a backup of your machine. Make sure that your butt's covered, which of course we already did. We are running uh, version 2.3 and we need to upgrade to the latest 2.4. Why do you have to upgrade? Well, it's not that the versions just stop working, it's that Microsoft stops supporting them. So we have a situation right now where the version we're running, 2.3.6, is now more than one year old, which means Microsoft is no longer supporting it. And we're finding that while the syncs do occur, they take almost a week to actually get into Azure from our on-prem Active Directory. And that's a problem. So we have to upgrade. We are going from 2.3, as we said, to 2.4. And as a result, we also have to enable something called TLS 1.2. If you're already running version 2.4 of Microsoft Entra Connect, you can skip this part. Just skip ahead to the next section. You'll see at the bottom little sections. If, however, you're still running 2.3 or anything older, you need to make sure that TLS 1.2 is enabled. So let's go do that. So how do you get that? Well, we'll put the link in the comments below, but you can see it right here. Uh, and just scroll down and you will see the notice about TLS 1.0. So just scroll through it, PowerShell to enable 1.2. So just copy that whole script. And again, we will put this in the chat below so you don't have to go digging for it. And then go to your server, which just happens to be this server for us. Bring up a nice PowerShell and paste the script in. Press enter. TLS has been enabled. You might think, I don't have to restart to upgrade, do I? Well, you don't need to reboot for your Entra upgrade, but you do need to reboot for the TLS 1.2. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll be right back. Third thing, launch Azure AD Connect and back up the configuration. Your export. And the fourth thing you should do is download Microsoft Entra Connect. Make sure you're downloading the most recent version because if you download an older version, say one that's like six months old, you're only going to get a shorter period of time out of it. In that case, six months because it's only good for one year. Remember, get the most current build. And they've made this permanent link, 47594. We'll take you here to whatever the most current link is. Anyway, click download, get it. We've already done that. And just double click on your Azure AD Connect MSI. And here we go. Bingo. So it's pretty much click next from here. Agree. Yeah, I'd like to upgrade. That's the point. And now it's going to ask for your Azure credentials. So this needs to be a GA, global admin, and let her rip. All right, just a quick note. We did speed through some of these processes so that you didn't have to sit there and watch, but the whole process took us about four minutes. Click exit and you're done. The only thing you might want to do now is log into your Azure end and see if the sync is occurring there. Go to portal.azure.com, go to enter ID, expand manage and scroll down to enter connect, click cloud connect, and you can check your statuses here. Bingo, no problems, everything looks happy. So hey, if you found this video useful, Big thumbs up would be appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.